Hi there. Hope everyone is having a good time. Atrial fibrillation is the most common type of heart rhythm problem. It is a irregularly irregular rhythm without any distinctive P waves. There are two important decisions to be made once diagnosed with atrial fibrillation. Number 1 is the need for antithrombotic therapy. Number 2 is to determine rate control versus rhythm control. It is usually determined by considering patient's presentation, other heart conditions and patient's preference. Most people will need to be started on medication, for example beta blocker, calcium channel blocker or digoxin. This can help with rate control and relieve symptoms. A recent study published in New England Journal of Medicine in November 2020 looked at the effectiveness of ablation as first treatment for AFib. Usually, the guidelines suggest the use of at least one antiarrhythmic medication even before considering ablation because ablation is a little more invasive than medical treatment. The study wanted to find out if doing cryoablation as first treatment was effective and safe. This study had around 200 patients from 18 to 80 years of age. They were divided into two groups. One group received antiarrhythmic drugs in class 1 or 3 and the other group got treatment with pulmonary vein isolation with a cryo balloon. They determined the safety of ablation by looking at any adverse effects at the end of ablation. In the ablation group, 97% of the patients achieved rhythm control. This trial was actually called STOP AF first. There was another trial named Early AF. It was done around the same time but it included 300 patients. It mainly focused on the recurrence of AFib after one year. Compared to medical treatment, a lower percentage had recurrence. So they concluded that cryopalloon ablation was better at preventing recurrence of AFib. So with these new findings, it may be best to offer cryoablation as first treatment for some patients. Cardiac ablation is a procedure of deliberately making scar tissue in the heart. This helps to prevent conduction of abnormal rhythm. So it's an effective treatment for AFib. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time with more exciting information.